praise the Lord, guys. Brother Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. Guys, in the future, I'm sensing a burden. I want to teach and minister on prophetic protocol, understanding the prophetic. I'm going to probably be releasing some keys in the next week or so. You do not want to quench the spirit. You do not want to grieve the spirit. Quenching the spirit is not accomplishing or fulfilling the intention of what the Lord desires. Grieving is doing too much. It's flesh. It's just adding on. And, you know, there's an art to the prophetic, guys. I share this. We don't use encounters to establish doctrine. We only use scripture to establish doctrine. Guys, I don't look for signs, wonder. They, they follow me, but I don't look for them. I don't crave. I don't strive. There is a difference between waiting upon the Lord and a word coming to you and you going to a word. Now, I do believe the office of the prophet, Ephesians 4, apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists, pastors, the equipping of the saints, etc. A true prophet in that office, a word doesn't have to go to them. They can go to a word. In other words, they function in the office. So just because a person's prophetic doesn't mean they're a prophet. Just because someone's apostolic doesn't mean they're an apostle. Just because someone's past pastoral doesn't mean they're a pastor or evangelistic doesn't mean they're an evangelist. But guys, I love the prophetic and here's why. One of the brethren on the Zoom last night came under an unction and said, you know, today's September 23rd, but tomorrow the 24th of the ninth month or September, I feel it's pertinent, you know, something's going to happen. And immediately it triggered in my spirit about a decade, maybe even almost two decades ago. I was in a church running a youth meeting as a youth pastor for a church, and it was September 24th. And I came under this unction, and I le actually like left the youth meeting and delivered this word to the church at large. Now listen to this. This is why I love the prophetic. See, I wasn't looking for this word, but Haggai chapter 2, verse 18 says, Consider now from this day forward, September 24th, from this day forward, what? From the 24th day of the ninth month. Guys, it's the 24th day of the ninth month. From the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider it. And then it goes on to say, is there still seed in the barn? And it goes to say, yet the vine, fig tree, pomegranate, olive trees have not yielded fruit. So there was like a frustration before the 24th of September, like, come on, Lord, let's go. I feel I'm breaking through. I feel I'm pregnant, like spiritually pregnant. I'm not pregnant or a man can't be, but like you've inseminated something in my spiritual womb. And I feel increase, enlargement, and advancement, territory being taken, breakthrough, etc. And then it goes on to say, but it has not yet yielded fruit. But now listen to this. But from this day forward, I will bless you and guys on the YouTube channel all over the world. From this day forward, the Lord is going to bless you. If you're positioned to catch this spirit, if you're in position, Elijah said to Elijah, if you're in the right place at the right time, you'll catch the double mantle, the double portion. Now listen, let me end with this. Verse 20, again, the word of the Lord came to Haggai on the 24th day of the ninth month, September 24th. Speak to Zerubbabel. It says, I've shaken the heaven, I overthrow thrones of kings, and you can read it in your own spare time. It's Haggai chapter 2, verse 18 through the end. <clears throat> it, it goes on to say, in that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will take you, Zerubbabel, my servant. I will make you a signet ring. The signet ring, guys, is like the ring of favor. Like Esther came to the king, and she, the, the king... You know, excuse me, the helicopter or plane. The, the king extended the, the, the staff or the signet ring, hallelujah. And we will make you a signet ring, for I have chosen you, says the Lord of hosts. Guys, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.